Hello and welcome to another episode of Top Keck, the series where we take a look at some of the weirdest UK deck lists. Uh, so today we have Omar Manan coming back on with the Super Heavy Samurais, uh, a pretty similar list to the one that he took to YCS London, but this time going to the UK Open where you may have seen him on stream with a very, very unlucky Time Wizard going off there. So we're going to run through the list and the uh, rounds and uh, yeah we'll just basically cover this list here with some information from Omer. So uh, one Dogran, one Gadala, one Radiant, one Jizakiri, triple Battle Ball, uh, one Big Benke, two Samurai Magnet, uh, one Preps Defense, uh, triple Scales, one Gauntlet, one Suit, uh, double Horny Boy, uh, triple Soul Peacemaker, triple Soul Piercer, triple Thief, Triple Trumpeter, one Seconds Light, Triple Ash, Triple Troll, and the one sneaky Santa Claus coming in just before Christmas. Uh, for the extra deck, one Beast Cubi, one uh, Ninja Saratobi, double Shoten Doji, one uh, Stealth Ninja, one Train King, double Susanoo, one Exton for when you just need to blow up the board. Uh, one Decode, one Phoenix, one Clifford Genius, one Mrs. Radiant, and for those cool side deck cards we have the Fortress Dragon and Mega Fleet Dragon just wasting your opponent's boards uh, and getting you free victory against any Cyber Dragon deck. Then triple Pancratops, double Chaos Hunter, triple Cyber Dragon, double Lancia, a lot of ways to stop banishing here. Uh, double Trap Eater, deal with those floodgates. The one Time Wizard, sometimes Raigeki, sometimes not quite. Uh, and then a double Effect Failure. So that is it for the list itself. Uh, let's get the comments in from Omen then. So we have the round split up into a sort of streamlined bit and a more in-depth version. So if you just want the quick summary of the rounds, then here they are. Despot 2-1, Striker 0-2, Striker 2-0, Pendulum Magician 2-0, Sayuja Light Swan Turbo 1-2, uh, Dino Danger Thunder 02, Dinosaur 2 and Altergeist 1 2. So, pretty interesting in that it's sort of, it seems fairly even between the striker matchups and uh, some of the combo decks actually doing really well against those as well. But then struggling against some of the other things like the Altergeist and the uh, Dino Danger Thunder, which is, I guess, a bit of a weird deck to be honest to be facing. Um, so, I think he has a fairly strong matchup against a lot of meta stuff. Uh, so we'll cover the rounds with a little bit more detail here. So round one, um, Omar won due to time in game three after the opponent made a board of Infinity, Crystal Wing, Firewall, and Sayuja. All he had to do was swing in with Big Benkei into the Proxy Dragon. That's enough said. Uh, round two, it was the feature match. So you can probably watch this on the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG EU uh, channel. Um, but unfortunately for him, it, the, he had a huge brick to deal with. Uh, he did manage to summon and resolve Time Wizard though, um, but didn't always go the way he planned. Uh, so round three, um, the OTK in game one, then grind, uh, grind the game for the, for the second one, um, and end up winning through ashing the area, area zero after the opponent twisted their own area zero. You know, at that point, your opponent's pretty low on resources, so they're having to do that. Um, round four, the pendulum player bricked hard both games, opening nothing of use whilst under draw. Um, so a bit unfortunate there. Round five, um, game one goes to the opponent who sets up a board of Christia, Beast, Soyuja, and Ib. Uh, Omer's like, cool, game two. Um, so he summons the Santa Claus on the um, opponent's Ib. Kaiju's the Ib, um, and then Scoots. Uh, Kaiju's another card, and then just like the opponent gets trapped out there. Uh, in game three, uh, he had a loss here due to a very greedy misplay. One minute on time, and the opponent had Snow Engrave. Uh, Omer could special summon a super heavy samurai monster from deck whilst the opponent was on 7600 life and he was on full uh, but instead of Big Benkei with 3500 defense he got greedy and went for battle ball play uh, and it got snowed and then it kind of swung for games that's pretty much it. Um, round 6 uh, he lost both games to snow it's just too much disruption for super heavy samurais to be able to deal with um, examples of cards that you really struggle against are snow, tyranno, colossus, all that kind of stuff um, a fun game though, against Armored Mustafa. Uh, round 7, game 1, just poke away until um, until he's won the game, and then in game 2 he summons the big train, um, it, which has uh, 12 levels, it's a synchro, it attacks into an Overraptor, with, uh, which doubles the train's defense, so it was on 9600 into an 1800 monster. The opponent gets left on 200 life points, since they only have one spell and grave. You can just banish it with the train and burn for 200. Um, round 8, 
uh, just normal Kaiju Battle Ball OTK plays for game one, and then unfortunately for Oma, um, games two and three he bricked, so that pretty much sums up all of the rounds that you played then. Uh, so as per usual, bringing on the spice with the awesome looking Super Heavy Samurai list, now, it's great that this deck has access to stuff like Sucker's Lights, and you can just play the, the main deck. So many good monster hand traps available at the moment. You do have to make sort of odd concessions, like uh, in order to beat big boards, so you have to play stuff like, uh, I guess Cyber Dragons aren't too odd, but you do have to play things like Time Wizard uh, or some kind of monster in order to be able to out an opposing, opposing board, and that can be a bit of an issue. Um, but because you are getting to play the sort of 40 card um, Pot of Greed equipped deck, uh, you can tech it out with all sorts of different ways of using monsters to deal with problems. So you have a great um, sort of arsenal of different options available in the side deck here with the Pancratops, the Cyber Dragons, the uh, Trap Eaters, all this kind of removal and then the Disruption available as well. It's very, very nice to see. Uh, so thanks very much, Omer, for coming on and uh, filling out another episode of Top Kek with this very interesting Super Heavy Samurai list. Thanks for watching this episode of Top Deck. If you have any comments or suggestions that you would like to make, leave them in the comment section down below. Check out the description for details of how you can get involved in this series. You can enter by a voice interview, or instead you could just send all of your information over Facebook Messenger, anything like that will be absolutely fine. If you want to see anything in particular from the upcoming series, then be sure to get in touch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.